I have two Windows installations on the same PC. One is my daily driver and the other one is fully optimized with every possible tweak. But does it really matter? Because I keep seeing these videos everywhere. And look, I'm a rational adult, okay? I know that if there was a magical make a computer go fast button, Microsoft would have just pressed it already, right? This is my current Windows install that I use every single day. 13.6 gigabytes of memory usage. And of course it's Google Chrome. By the way, if you're curious, here are my specs. So the plan is simple. Install a completely fresh Windows alongside this one. Optimize the hell out of it and see if there's actually a difference. So let's scrap the ISO from Microsoft first. For Windows ISO download. Download Windows 11 and download. But hold on, if you think we're just slapping that ISO onto our hard drive, you're wrong. We're going all out with this thing. We're stripping it naked. And for that, we need a tool called NT Lite. License agreement. Yup. 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 And let's launch it. So now we need to select our Windows version. I'm going to go with Windows 11 Pro Edition for this one. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go into components. And here are all the different things that come with this ISO. So for example, if we go into apps, you can see all these different apps. Feedback hub, go away. Microsoft 365 Copilot. I'm just going through here, removing everything that sounds even slightly useless. And honestly, this is kind of therapeutic. It's like cleaning out the junk drawer, except the junk drawer is Windows. Now we have an ISO ready for install. Let's actually install this thing. The installation process is pretty straightforward. Oh, and quick tip, you can skip the Microsoft account login by typing this command. Although Microsoft have been fighting back against this recently, so who knows how long it will work. All right, we're in. Time to destroy it with optimizations. First things first, creating a restore point. Because I'm about to change a lot of stuff and there's zero chance I won't break something. Let's start simple. Windows settings. Making sure game mode is actually turned on. It is. Cool. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I'm using Chris Titus Windows Utility Tool. It's basically a one-stop shop for disabling all the telemetry, location tracking, and other background nonsense that Windows runs by default. Let's go into Tweaks, Essential Tweaks, Delete Temporary Files, yes. Disable Consumer Features, yes. Disable Telemetry, yeah, we want to disable telemetry. Disable Active History, Disable Game DVR, yep. Disable Hibernation, yep. Disable Location Tracking. Disable storage sense, yep. Adobe Deep Load, yep. Block Razor software installs, yep. Disable edge, disable background apps, yep. We don't want recall, we don't want Microsoft Copilot, set hibernation as default, yep. So I guess I'm happy with that. I pretty much disabled everything. So now I guess let's run the tweaks. Oh, you can actually see what it's doing. Removing one drive leftovers. So this tool already helps us so much. Tweaks are finished. Okay, okay, let's exit out of that. So now let's open the command prompt again and let's paste this command. This command pretty much gives us ultimate performance plan. I know that it sounds made up, but it's actually a real Windows thing. Now let's search edit power plan, power options. And if you click show additional plans, ultimate performance. Yes, we want that. Okay, and we can exit out of that as well. Okay, let's go back to the settings. Time to turn off everything that Windows thinks I want, but I definitely don't. Notifications for apps I don't use, dynamic lightning, airing features, a bunch of visual effects that make Windows look slightly prettier, but apparently cost performance. Oh, and here's a good one. If you go to advanced system settings, there's a performance section here with a button that just says best performance, which makes your Windows look like it's from 2006, but I mean, that's the price of the speed, I guess. Now for the GPU settings. I'm on AMD, so let's open the AMD software. I just pretty much went through the settings, disabling everything I didn't need. Hotkeys, who uses these. Under the graphic settings, I changed the texture filtering to performance mode. Mode. Desolation. I don't even know what desolation does, but we are going for the maximum FPS increase here. All right, now comes the part that actually makes me nervous. The Windows registry is basically the place where you can break your entire operating system with one wrong click. So this should be fun. Let's navigate to this long path. So in here, we have to change the GPU priority to decimal eight 
and priority to six. And then there's scheduling category and SFIO priority, which I'm setting to high. I gotta be honest here, I have no idea what any of these settings do, but hopefully it doesn't crash my computer. Another registry location now. This one's for something called Win32 priority separation, and I'm changing it to 38. Basically, this tells the CPU, hey, ignore the background task and focus only on the game now. And that's it. We are done. That actually wasn't as painful as I expected. Lots of clicking through menus, pasting commands I don't fully understand, and disabling things with scary sounding names. But it's done. So now comes the real question. Does this optimized stripped down registry tweaked version of Windows actually perform better than my regular messy one? I mean, let's find out. I'm no scientist, but I've got four games lined up to test this. If the optimizations actually work, we should see some kind of difference, right? Let's start with Valheim. Everything maxed out, highest settings possible. This game is surprisingly heavy. And by the way, you're seeing three FPS numbers on the screen. The first one is current FPS, the number you should care about. The second one is 1% lows, and the third one is 0.1% lows. If you don't know what 1% lows mean, just ignore them and watch the first number. That's the actual FPS. Okay, so here we go. I'm running around spawn, and okay. I'm looking at these numbers. My regular Windows install hovering around 120 FPS. The optimized one also 120 FPS. Wait, same location, same settings, same everything. The difference is maybe three or four frames. That's it. That's within margin of error territory. That's basically nothing. This is not what I expected. I thought I'd see at least a 10 or 15 FPS boost. Something noticeable, but this, this is pretty much the same. Okay, maybe Valheim is just weird. Let's try F124. F1 next. Everything maxed out again. This game has a built-in benchmark, so this should be consistent and reliable. Surely the ultimate performance power plan kicks in here. Okay, so we're running the benchmark, everything maxed out, and I'm not joking here. Minimum FPS, same. Average FPS, same. Maximum FPS, literally the exact same number. I'm not even kidding. The benchmark results are pixel perfect identical. It's like I didn't even change anything. So either F124 doesn't care about Windows optimization or I'm starting to think something else is going on here. CS2 time. This is the game where people swear optimization matters most. CS2 players are obsessed with the FPS. If any game should show a difference, it's this one. I'm using this benchmark map for consistency. Same route, same bot positions, same everything. And the result? Non-optimized 321 average FPS. Optimized 323 average FPS. Two frames. Two frames. I spent four hours stripping windows down, picking registry values, disabling services, and I got extra two frames in CS2. I can't see two frames. My monitor can't see two frames. Even my cat can't see two frames. Huh? That's less than 1% improvement. Minecraft. Maybe this is where we'll see something. And just to be absolutely sure that there's no variables, I literally copied the exact same world file to both Windows installations. Same map, same location, same time of day. If there's a difference, we'll see it here. And the FPS counter is showing basically the same numbers again. Maybe six or seven frame difference. I honestly can't tell if that's real or just random fluctuation. So looking at the data, my time was wasted. Actually, no, my time wasn't wasted. My point was proven. The 10 minute optimization guide is the modern day snake oil. It's placebo. You spend four hours tweaking registry keys to gain 0.6% performance that you will never feel. And if you want, better FPS, there is really only one way, buy better hardware. Actually, there is one trick, one stupid simple trick that actually boosted my FPS significantly. First, open up settings and then go to 